welcome by my new video about how you can connect your Blazor application to your API that is protected by Android ID. In this Blazor application, I've replaced the contents with the counter component with an authorized view. In this application, I've already added author authorization. And if you want to know how to do that, you can watch my previous video. Here I have to find the button, and if I click on get name, it will reach my API and then get a name back of a movie, which will be displayed in the name property. For now, if I click on get name, it will only change the name to loading. If we go to the program.cs, you can see here that I've changed the base address to localhost 7120, and this is where my API will be uh, listening to. If we look at my API, I've added authorization as well here. I have a simple get method that returns a movie. And the scopes that are defined here, I can find in my fsettings.json. My scope is called access as user, which I created myself. If we go to enter ID and click on my app registration, you can see underneath expose an API, my scope. If I click on it, you can see access as user. Next thing I'm going to do is to assign this permission to my Blazor WebAssembly registration. So if I go to App Registration again, click on Blazor WebAssembly, and then click on API Permissions, and click on Add Permission, I can go to APIs, and click on Web API. And here you can see my permission. Click Add Permissions, don't forget to grant admin consent, click Yes. And now the Blazor Web App will have this permission. But we also have to define it in the program. So if we go back to the Blazor application and then the program, you have to add this line of code here. This is the whole URL of the permission. And you have to add it as a default access token scope. This way we are telling EnterID we want to log in and get an access token with also this scope. If we now go to the counter component, we can add the code to actually access the API. One thing I forgot to show, that in enter ID, when you go to your registration of your API, sometimes when you register your API through the portal, it doesn't get configured correctly. You have to check that if you go to the manifest, you have to check that the access token accepted version is set to two. This defines which access token format is accepted. And in this case, when we're using enter ID and Microsoft's account to log in, we need access token accepted version 2. Now let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's inject the ACTP client in this component. And we also need to inject the iAccess token provider, which I will call authorization service. Don't forget to import the using. And in the code, we will add the cascading parameter, authentication state. Now I'll show you the code to get the token and to use this code token to make an API request. First thing we have to do is to wait for this authentication state to be set. After a user is logged in, this authentication property will be set. The next thing we do is to request the access token. And for this we use the authorization service. This access token result will contain the token we need to access the API. Don't forget to wait this. Now we have the token, we have to set the authorization header of the HTTP client. Here you have to define the token.value. As it says in the description, it will get the serialized representation of the token. And this will set the authorization header of the HTTP client when we make a request to the API. So let's now get the movie. I will do a simple get async. Now we can set the name property to the response content. And don't forget to wait, of course. Now let's test this out. If I click login and go to the counter page, here I can see that there, the movie is still a question mark. And if I click on get name, it will first be loading. And as you can see, it has successfully fetched the name from my API. So if you have already added authorization in your application, this is the only code you need to add to access your API, together with the configuration that I showed you in Enter ID. I will post a link with this code in the description below.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.